you find yourself often wearing clothes that just don't fit you right or maybe they're just plain unflattering and just aren't doing anything for your shape you're probably doing one or two of these things you're either wearing clothes that are too big or they're too small and if you are you're doing something wrong because you need to be wearing clothes that fit your body right now you should be wearing clothes that flatter the body you have right now not when you lose five to ten pounds stop waiting till you lose weight to wear clothes that fit you flatter you and make you look and feel good when you wear clothes that are too big you are hiding your body um, and ultimately you're hiding yourself and maybe you want to blend in you don't want anyone to notice you you want to just be completely absorbed by your clothes that's no way to live your clothing should be something that you feel excited to put on each day something you look forward to doing and something you look forward to people noticing about you and if you're wearing clothes that are too tight you're just punishing yourself i used to do this thing where i couldn't accept that i had gained some weight so i wear jeans that were so tight i literally couldn't breathe in them and i'd find myself driving in my car or sitting at my desk and i would just have to unbutton them because i'd just be like oh my god i literally cannot breathe right now and it's distracting me from what i'm doing it's making me feel uncomfortable it's making me feel self-conscious and really it's just making me feel horrible about myself and no one deserves to feel that way so don't wear clothes that are too tight for you either because it's not gonna do you any good. And maybe you don't wanna spend a bunch of money on new clothes, so you'd rather buy some cheap, trendy clothes because you wanna wait until you lose the weight. Like I said, you don't need to wait till you lose weight to invest in some quality pieces. I suggest adding some pieces to your wardrobe that are affordable and uh, sustainable, meaning they're gonna last in your closet um, whether you lose or gain weight. Aim for stretchy or knit pieces of clothing because they're gonna fit you whether you gain a few pounds or lose a few pounds. They'll always fit you just right. Examples of some stretchy knit fabrics are clothing with spandex or elastane in them. Spanx is a great example of a clothing brand that has really nice quality basics that you can easily mix and match with lots of pieces in your wardrobe and will fit you regardless of whether you're gaining or losing weight. They're definitely investment pieces, but the thing is they're worth it because they're still gonna fit you no matter how much weight you lose or gain. So you cannot use that excuse anymore of, oh, I wanna wait till I lose weight to invest in my style. Mm, doesn't work here. There's always a solution and there's always a reason why you should be investing in your personal style. Comfort and style go hand in hand. So if it means going out and spending some money on some quality pieces that are authentic to your style and make you look and feel amazing, it's always gonna be worth it. And also you've gotta remember, you need to go into the fitting room and actually try things on. It's the best way that you're gonna know 100% whether or not something fits you right before you even have to buy it. And if it fits, great, and you can incorporate it into more than one outfit that you have at home, get it, awesome. But if it doesn't fit right off the bat, just let it roll off your back. It's not that serious. Either size up or size down, whatever you gotta do, buy clothes that fit you now. You will thank yourself. You will thank yourself for treating yourself and your body so well. You also gotta change your mindset about money and realize that you're always gonna be worth the investment. You gotta stop putting a band-aid on a bullet wound by trying to buy these cheap, trendy, fashionable items just to compensate for the fact that you feel like crap about your body. Had to say it, truth hurts. But I really want the best for you. I want you to wake up each day excited to wear what's in your closet, excited to show off how good you look because you deserve it. And it's possible to have great style without breaking the bank. I mean, think about it. I would rather you spend $50 on a quality shirt that you're gonna wear, easily mix and match it with pieces in your wardrobe and wear it day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, rather than spending $10 on five tops and literally wearing them maybe two or three times and just being bored with them again. And then it's a waste because you're not even wearing them and maybe you decide to donate them. Um, but again, like I've talked about before, newsflash, most of the stuff that gets donated doesn't actually end up being resold. It ends up getting 
pushed out to other countries and building up in landfills there because the pieces of clothing that you're getting rid of aren't as good quality as you think they are. And they're not sustainable to last in someone's wardrobe as long as you'd like to think. So there's a whole other side here to, you know, investing in quality basics, investing in yourself, investing in your style. And that's why I like to share this stuff with you because a lot of you love fashion and clothing, but you're not investing in quality pieces that are truly functional for your wardrobe or sustainable. And when I say sustainable, I mean, they last. You can wear them time and time again and restyle them um, and not find yourself bored with them. I've gotten so good with my personal style, I literally do not need to buy clothes for at least three months. And that's where we all should be with our clothing because we shouldn't feel this constant need to shop and measure up because it's not good for us. So moral of the story here is you wear clothes every day, so you might as well invest in some pieces that are gonna make you look and feel like a million bucks.